So we're very early in this investigation, and this is an investigation that will be conducted by a protocol team, as it is the case with any officer-involved critical incident. So I don't have a lot of information, but I will give you everything that I have. Um, so here's what we know at this point is that one of our officers called in at about 10.31 p.m. and was attempting to make a traffic stop on a vehicle that, that was a suspected DUI driver. This happened at about 2400 South Redwood Road. What we know at this point is that the officer was uh, had activated lights and siren and was attempting to stop this vehicle. And it appears that that vehicle, which is the white one behind me, failed to negotiate the turn onto 201 and ended up in the rocks there. Uh, you can see the officer's vehicle is there as well. We don't know exactly what transpired, but at some point the officer did fire a weapon and the suspect was hit, uh, was struck by that weapon. and. At this point, um, the suspect was injured and has been taken to the hospital. And a gun that we believe belongs to the suspect was located at the scene. Um, the suspect, the only information I have about the suspect at this point is that uh, he is a male adult. Are his injuries life threatening? I don't know. I don't know the nature of his injuries at this point. Only one officer involved in the shooting that's, that's correct. Asleep. That's correct. We saw, uh, we saw um, U.S. Marshals um, uh, Fugitive Task Force here. Do, uh, is anything involved with that? Uh, I don't know anything about that. So this initiated just as a traffic stop initially? That's correct. So this was a suspected DUI driver, okay. and the officer was attempting to make a traffic stop. Okay. We don't know what transpired in between that and the officer-involved shooting, um, besides the fact that we did recover a weapon on the ground. Was the officer injured at all? I the think officer I was not injured. Okay. It sounded like somebody was bitten or something, but maybe that was something else. Yeah, probably might have been something else, but okay. it was not It was not the officer involved in this. Okay. Um, this is under investigation by Protocol Team 4, which is led by West Jordan Police. And uh, as with all officer-involved critical incidents, there are investigators from the District Attorney's Office. The protocol investigative team is out here. They'll conduct the investigation into this. We don't actually interview the officer involved in any official capacity. So that's the reason why we have limited information. Um, but they will conduct that investigation. And that, that was designed and implemented so that all officer-involved critical incidents would be investigated um, impartially and, and thoroughly. Um, if you want to look, o look over here, um, can you please uh, let us know how long the intersection here is going to be shut down? Uh, I don't know, but I'll get that information and tweet it out. Was, he, was, that, was the suspect the one that was shot? Was he the only one in the vehicle? As far as we know, the suspect uh, who was in, in the vehicle it was the only person in that vehicle. Okay. And we don't, uh, at this point, no signs that it was stolen? or I don't know yet. Oh, okay. And the um, officer was by himself in the car? The officer was alone, yes. Okay. Was, did, did the, I don't know how protocol works about ending police chase. Uh, was it just a quick, did it happen quickly? So this, uh, this happened, this started at 2400 South Redwood Road, which I think is just that next light down. So yeah. that's, it's very close. Um, as far, and and again, this is very early in this, and I don't have all the times, I haven't personally looked at all the times and the, the call logs, but from what I understand, we're talking about a radio call in at about 1031, and a radio call in of shots fired at 1034. So about a three minute span between uh, the initial call in about the traffic stop, the attempt to traffic stop, and the call in for shots fired.